Slippery roads have caused more than a dozen crashes here in the metro. Three of them happened around the exact same time on the same stretch of road, an area that is known for crashes. They all happened around 9 a.m. on the I-94 Red River Bridge on the eastbound lane and two in the west. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Nicole Johnson shows us why there are a lot of problems there. It's an area prone to accidents. For the past three years, we have reported numerous crashes, most of them in the westbound lane. Some slamming into the bridge wall, some taken to the hospital, and others needing a tow. MnDOT takes care of the westbound lane, and North Dakota takes care of the eastbound lane, although both say they use the same treatment on the road and have sensors that spray anti-icer depending on the weather. Uh, with cold temperatures like this, the bridge, tear, the bridge sprayer does not activate because the chemical is not as effective. Here's the problem. According to Alan Milbratt, Highway Maintenance Supervisor in Moorhead, the pattern of accidents is happening when it's extremely cold. That's when liquid pretreatment doesn't work and they lay down sand and salt instead, which Milbratt says isn't 100% foolproof. I don't know if you've ever noticed when you warm your car up at home, the puddle of water that's under the exhaust pipe. Well, as everybody's accelerating going down that ramp to get on 94, all that water is coming out. On the roadway. The reason there are more crashes in the westbound lane, Milbrat says there's more traffic, more people in a hurry, and more people merging. Adding accelerating on ice can be trouble. You know, there are different chemicals that are coming out that work in colder temperatures, and, and I know in, in MnDOT here they experiment with many different kinds. and. Some of them have favorable results and some, some of the side effects aren't so good. Looking into the future, there could be changes to prevent accidents like this on the road. Nicole Johnson, Valley News Live. MnDOT says the road is also a problem because it's a bridge over the river where you typically will see more accidents. They say to slow down, pay attention, and leave a good